Hi friends, in this particular video of mine, um, I would be introducing all of you um, to another package which is called as SkyPy and it is again a free and open source Python library. Uh, we will see that yes, uh, quite a lot of things are there present in uh, this particular library itself. However, the best thing that one should note is that SkyPy it itself uh, can, uh, you know, help us out in giving or I can say that yes, I can make unlimited um, videos on it itself. Reason there are so many ways in which this particular package uh, can be used, I should say, from the library and um, you know, wonderful um, research and analysis can be taken care of. Now, one more thing that I'm picking you through in this particular uh, video walk would be through a Wikipedia page on SkyPy. Nowadays, uh, you know, in some cases we find that yes, uh, uh, Wikipedia itself is giving us very good introduction. Now here this is the page and I think all of us um, should be able to read out uh, these things also side by side so that we are aware of certain things about this particular uh, library. Now the original authors because it gives you Wikipedia page moreover I should say gives you a very um, short and crisp introduction about it wherein uh, you know a lot of information is also available. Now the original authors as per the Wikipedia is Travis Oliphant and Piero Peterson and Eric Jones out here and it was uh, released uh, around 2001 though the stable release they say that is in the month of December 2019 and later on they released this particular um, library. Now secondly that one has to understand that it is free and open source and they are not going to charge you anything and it is used a specific, uh, specific and exclusively for scientific computing and technical computing. So it does not mean that uh only certain things are there in the research i myself have uh, been um, using these packages for uh, the modules on optimization linear algebra and linear programming also integration interpolation and uh, there are certain other things especially on image processing and how to change and understand images also in different ways now in, in all these cases i think um, uh, skypy is very very useful not only in this manner I would say um, there is entirely for example if I have to understand probability and distribution and that is the one reason why I am coming up with this particular uh, video also of mine you will see that yes um, uh, you know I have used quite a lot of packages I have installed imported them in the Jupyter notebooks and then I have proceeded further in order to um, see um, and analyze the data that is present in front of me that's one more thing that I have seen and secondly um, uh, <clears throat> they have made it very clearly that SciPy has uh, a lot of uh, places it has been uh, done and I have to sit and again check it out as to how SciPy United States is different and they have their own uh, users as well as well as developers uh, Euro SciPy is very different and SciPy.in that is from India these are the three so India should feel very proud about it also and here uh, though it started off in United States and uh, in different manner one can see and proceed further in order to know more about it. Now components I'm not going to read it because it is uh, not um, uh, at all however while we are dealing with those analysis and research I would be introducing to you. Now if somebody is interested you can go through and you can uh, read more about them however this is a short introduction on SkyPy as a uh, library for us given uh, in uh, through python so that we are able to uh, go further with our own research so let me come up with yet another video of mine till then thanks and take care bye